on with you Scorpios out there. Hope y'all are having a great day. So you have the Chariot, the King of Swords, and you Scorpios have the Eight of Cups, being the Eighth Zodiac sign. When I get eight cards, right, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, I love it because it means that um, a lot of you are walking away from something, right? You're, you're, you're walking away from something or someone. Um, and you're not allowing that to hold you down. So the chariot right now, the king of swords is about you, Scorpios. Giving, uh, some of you Scorpios have been getting to know somebody. Some of you Scorpios may even be like smashing somebody and you are, you're, you know, you thought that you had liked this person. You had liked this person for a little while, but now, right? Especially with the Eight of Cups, you Scorpios are actually thinking about walking away from this person because what you're realizing is, is from actually getting to know them, right? Is that, yeah, you got your foot in the door as far as physically is concerned, right? But a lot of you Scorpios are really, um, how do I say this? A lot of you Scorpios are not really feeling it. And the other person is shallow, right? Because what's going on with you, Scorpios, is that you know the game. So y'all have been getting to know some people <clears throat> physically, right? But this person is like pining after having that main course position, right? that position of like being seen as an individual that you that you Scorpios can take seriously. And you Scorpios just like I said, you've been getting to know them and you and you find out that they have some things about them that you don't really particularly like. You know, you don't you don't really particularly like about them. Um some some not and not just unimportant things, some very important things to uh, their character that you Scorpios don't actually like because you're realizing that this person's value system and your value system is inherently different, right? They don't value a lot of the same things that you Scorpios value, like loyalty, you know what I'm saying? And, <clears throat> and trusting them to know that everything is going to work out within y'all's uh, favor, <clears throat> right? Yours and theirs. So the Eight of Cups, right? You know, th th this person likes to undermine you, right? Not, excuse me, not you. They like to undermine anyone that they're getting to know romantically on that kind of serious level. So the Eight of Cups is about you Scorpios deciding to leave them alone because of this, right? You're thinking about it because on the one hand, you Scorpios are benefiting from smashing, having fun. But then on the other hand, again, you Scorpios, y'all know the game. You shouldn't be, if y'all are just having a roll in the hay, it should not be long-term. And that it's really a relationship if it is end up being, if it is long-term. I don't care what it is that any of the Zodiac sign, uh, any of the Zodiac signs say. You know what I'm saying? It is a relationship because it's funny how a lot of people who would act like it's just friends with benefits, right? Quote unquote, right? They, they answer the text messages. They pick up the calls of the person that all they're doing is supposed to be smashing. It's just supposed to be friends with benefits, but they give the person who is friends with benefits a lot of benefits that you are supposed to give in a relationship. But the person who's coming to, uh, you know, the person that you go into in a relationship, they won't give you that, right? And it's and, and and that's the confusion, that's the dysfunctionality, right? You know, that's the enemy enemy is in confusion. That's the confusion, the dysfunctionality. It's the fact that you step into them correctly, right? If you were to step to this person correctly, you now have insight that there was no way that the two of you you would ever get anything because this person is not looking for a relationship. They're saying that, but they're out of their mind. 
they're not really all the way up there not really and so and you know again you scorpios understand this because they're because again the ace of cups the four of swords they're talking to you about it right the two of you have had talks you know scorpio is a zodiac sign that will chill with you um after the deed is done even though i say a million times scorpio i don't suggest you do that it's like oh okay so what do you suggest i suggest you get your I suggest you get your clothes and you skedaddle right up on out of there. Bounce. Dip. Leave. That's what you should be doing immediately. Soon as you finish. Oh, okay, I gotta go get my stuff. I'll holler at you later. Literally. Do not stay. Why? Because that's relationship stuff. This is what muddies the waters. This is why a lot of people sometimes when they're in a friends with benefits situation, they'll be like, well, I'm confused as to what's going on. The reason why they're confused is because people are not doing a good of a job actually drawing that line, right? They're doing relationship stuff while they just supposed to be friends with benefits. You're supposed to keep it all the way, all the way 100. You're supposed to you're supposed to be suited and booted. Okay, you Scorpios and them are just smashing, so they just smash. That's it. Don't bake them cookies. Don't cook. Don't do any of that. That's relationship stuff. That's stuff that people do in relationships. And forget about all this nonsense about not putting labels. That's a dub. Because anybody who says they don't like it when people put labels on it, it means that they belong to the street. That's what it means. Because cause this is, see, this is what I'm talking about. You need labels in order to understand where you at, right? I'm using slang in that sense, but you need a, you need labels to understand where you are. What, what, where are you? See, if a person, if the two of you don't define it together and be like, look, this is what it is. This is what it is. This is where, like I said, this creates more confusion. This creates more confusion, right? So the thing is that the Ace of Wands and the Page of Cups right here represents how, well, oh, this person is telling you that, they, that they're starting to catch feelings. But the thing is, is that the Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, right? The Four of Swords, Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, Four of Pentacles, you got to get rid of that. Because now that I told you, it's only a certain amount of time before the two of y'all smash and y'all hang out with each other and y'all do too much to the point where one or both of y'all or everybody involved starts catching feelings. So you have to understand to, to once again, Whenever it is that you Scorpios are smashing, don't just be out here just smashing, laid up with them, hanging out with them, talking to them, getting it. They DTF, right? They down to roll around in the hay with you. They down to kick it with you. They don't have, they don't have anything, if you know what I mean. Cool. They, they're of age. They, they, they at the appropriate age, cool. Both of y'all are willing, ready and willing. Both of y'all consenting, two thumbs up. Cool, don't you dare stick around talking to them. Cause again, I've had that done to me once before. And, I, and I'm over here trying to tell the person, don't do that. Why? Because you're doing too much. We just supposed to be kicking it, but I don't want you to act like you are my significant other because you not. I want you, I want to be clear about this. You're not my significant other because I'm not looking to play you, trick you, tell you something that I know that it's not. And then have you ripping and running around here. So I'm being honest as I can. We not together. Don't bring me any baked goods. Don't cook for me. Don't do any of that stuff. After we finish, you skedaddle or I'll skedaddle. You know, depending on whose home it is, right? Whose residence it is. 
But that's my point though. And person didn't like it, but they had to accept it. The five of pentacles, excuse me, the four of pentacles is about because you're setting yourself up for failure when you Scorpios uh, interact with people like that. Here you have an individual who's starting to catch feelings for you. <clears throat> and the two of you was just supposed to be friends with benefits. So the magician in the three of pentacles is about how you, my best suggestion to you Scorpios is to leave them alone. That, that connection that the two of you have, regardless of if it's significant others, friends with benefits, leave that alone. You're done there. You're done there. Talk to brand new people, get to know brand new people, find out what they are about, right? If you're gonna be in a relationship, if you're not gonna be in a relationship and you just wanted to be friends with benefits, do not allow them to do any relationship things with you. Like what? Spending time, cooking. Come on now. Spending time, cooking, talking to each other, getting to know each other like that and all of that. You better not. Don't you dare. If this person tries to get you to know you, keep it brief. Keep it brief. Keep it scarce. Don't you dare start going into your whole life story. Well, I was born in Trinidad and came up, and I, you know, I, was, I lived in Trinidad for the first four years of my life. And then my family, my mom and my siblings, we ended up, you know, taking a plane ride from Trinidad to New York. And now we live in New York. You know what I'm saying? We lived in Queens at one point. No. Because this person only wants you because you're unattainable. They only want to be in a relationship with a person where the entry of the the entry of how they know you is dysfunctional. This is the reason why, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is the reason why it is that I say that a lot of these people who play the game, they're psychotic. They're out of their mind because what it really is is they only want to deal with people from a standpoint of dysfunctionality. That's what they are attracted to, but they don't want to admit that because the on, only the dysfunctional relationships are the only ones that they want to go after. If the relationship started off cool, calm, collected, construct, uh, collected, right? Constructive, right? On the up and up, they wouldn't want that. They would, they would make up an excuse. The person doesn't understand them. And they're right. The person doesn't understand a weirdo who thinks like that because they're out of their mind. They got a lot of mental problems. You see what I'm saying? So they want you because of the fact that you've made yourself unattainable to them in that sense. You Scorpios have told them or you've let it be known, like, look, this is only, you know, friends with benefits situation. You're not really into them like that long term. And the mere fact that they jump up on the Internet doing this stuff, right? I'm saying in a general sense, but even but regardless of what where it is, Internet, no Internet, right? Regardless of the fact that that's how they want relationships to start. It's stupid, and it goes to show you that there's something off about them, Scorpio, because a, a person who is, a, once again, a person who is healthy, they don't have time to do stuff that is dysfunctional. They don't have, they don't have time for that. Why? Cost them time, money, attention, energy. It costs too much to be sitting up here trying to get to know somebody. The person wants to waste my time. So you smash and then it's good, right? Cause I, I, I do what I do and I do it well. Now they don't know how to let go. No, you're not, you're not my significant other. Same thing with you Scorpios. Don't allow this person to get close to y'all and have you Scorpios laced up based upon 
this person telling you that they like you and now you Scorpios, oh, okay, cool. Nah, because I'm telling you how it works. This is why I'm trying to tell y'all. A relationship that starts off friends with benefits is supposed to end that way usually on a usual sense, usually, right? Very, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen, but very rarely does it actually move out of that. Why? Because a friends with benefits situation, guess what's gonna happen? The minute that you say, all right, you're actually going to take this person out of the friends with benefits situation, they're gonna start to cut style on you. Here they go. Now they're going to start wilding out on you. They're going to start playing you out. Even though those were the same people that was literally begging every time you may have smashed it out of the park and you did what you did well. Or maybe, you know, you, you know, you work your hip magic and you did, you know, you, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm, for the, for the ones who know what I'm talking about, if you know, you know, but don't you dare start like don't you dare start hanging out with them in that sense now now all of a sudden you want to because see this is what i'm talking about you you put labels on it when you go oh, okay you, you see what i'm saying so it doesn't make any sense you put labels on it when you say okay you're gonna give them a try so let's clarify the three of pentacles see that person didn't want any labels before you smashed now that you Scorpio smash and it's too good, now they want to keep you. As if that is the cornerstone, as if that is the ultimate end all be all to a relationship. No, it's who they are as a whole, right? In general. So to, to clarify the three of pentacles, you have the six of cups, four of cups, the six of pentacles, the hierophant, and then you have the ace of cups. This person is stuck on you now, Scorpio because you may have done what you did and you did it well, a little too well, because the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups is about now, you just have to go radio silence on them. There's nothing, I'm telling you from personal experience, there's nothing that can solve that problem. You can't talk to them. That person is hypnotized by you. 